Hey people, I got some good stuff here. I noticed that I got the most comments on this movie where I showed my face. So let me just remind y'all, I'm still old and ugly. And on this movie, I, I got a comment that I love the intro. And I made this intro with uh, 3D paint. And I made it for the sole reason of this t-shirt campaign where I... I got it fixed so I put it on the lighter color shirts and it doesn't look so bad. And on the dark ones it doesn't have the border around there. I didn't realize t-shirts cost so much. It may be because I have too many colors of ink on there but I wanted it to look good. So I got some good stuff and I found uh, several old books where I try to interpret this one line. And I'll give you some links and talk a little bit more about them. But this one's an old English to German dictionary. You see the apple was the apple. And this one's just a bunch of mixed information. And it come from one of these societies. The American Philosophical Society. And these are all over 100 years old. So they're free on Google Books. But it's just got a, all kinds of different information that the societies have. And it starts with yoga magic. And just has all kinds of different stuff and goes down to uh, where I stopped reading. It was um, some old interpretations of the Babylonian stories. And this is a good one here. And it's just a dictionary of old English words that are no longer used. And I found it looking for something that I, f I found on a tooth. I found in... Uh, in the Greek and I was looking for what that meant so I was here in, in Colossians 4 and I made it down to 16 I, I was reading above this it's called sharing this letter and this letter to cause I want to start with this right here it interprets in Greek but it doesn't interpret like they say it you know it has this mark here and so this reads backwards and it's H-L-O-T-S-I and then it's the pe pistoli poisette and you put it in translator and it'll tell you plainly that it the pe pistoli you believed in poisette the poetry you know this is that base word the poi is the mouth you know that's what the doctor writes on your prescription if he wants you to take something orally the poem is where your word poem come from and poison and poetry and poet and it's the first word you know in the Greek Bible when it says and created with the word it all has to do with this base word for poetry and so the first part of this backwards the H-L-O-T-S-I it won't come up in translator because it's something they're trying to hide and it's the helots the helity the helitsies it's um the helots you know the helotsy is the helots people and this was they say it was the slaves of greece which i'm sure they were slaves just like we are i'm sure they were paid slaves because they way outnumbered the spartans it says they would wage war on them often and keep them in check you know the same thing they do to us it only makes sense the old word for greek you know was helen and so the people there would be the the helots and they only have theories on it, you know, because the, the writings all disappeared. But it's surely where the word hell comes from. And you see this word, you know, shall be read, or it may be read, it's the same word here, and may read. You see this word, the note in there, N-O-T-E, and it starts with the G as in the Gnostic, the knowledge to know, you know, the Gnostic on a agnost so this is actually making fun of people with the big lower jaw it's called a mandibular prognathism and if you don't think people in high places should be open to comedians you're not gonna like this at all and this is where the sacred image of five loaves and two fish come from and it's trying to say two fish your toothfish, your bottom jaw is sticking way out. And who they're talking about here is the Alpha Omega Chiros with the toothfish. 
so if you ain't laughing yet there's there's no hope for you but um that's what it means here by shall be read it may be read or may read and it means the educated people and so it's it's here in this word the agnos agnos and then the t e e and then the other way t h the teeth the agnos teeth agnos is latin and is plural of agnes you know agnes is a lamb from the proto italic agnos you can see it mainly come from the italian the agno old french the agni because they were slick to the greek too and so a lamb is another word for a baby sheep and at birth they have temporary incisors arranged on the lower jaw and they don't have any teeth on their top jaw only a dental pad and that's where this word come from the agnathism the ones with the agnath disease the agnathisms pro for for agnathisms it ain't pretty nowadays we call it a prominent jaw and it's come to be known as a, a Hasburg jaw and it's said to be from inbreeding from the rulers from the ruling class you know things like marrying your first cousin and it caused birth defects and and deaths and it was the whole family they constantly marrying into the family and it caused this enlarged lower jaw the former that became considerably worse in later Hasburg generations. So you could tell that it was the ruling class, the, the Pope, that interpreted this. Because he liked to think that mean shall be read, the educated. It may be read, may read, the ones who may read. But it, it says, what on, W-T-A-N, what on. You know, and when, it's not when, you know, only when it's one on a time is when. But this is what on, it reads backwards here, a two, a T-O, and then this mark says to start at the other end, so it's T-O-E, you know, the H, they give the H, the E, and the H and the E are interchangeable. And then it says to turn around and go to the end, but this little wave says grab this TH first. And uh, and I've just figured out, I, I knew it had something to do with it, but this mark here tells you how to read the wave too, which directions to read it in. You don't read it in both directions. And so it's wood on a tooth, T-O-E-T-H. That's ancient word for tooth. You know, Middle English. And that's why they have so many different forms, because it's used in poetry, twisted in these words. But it's the, the tooth. You see this, this mark here, this is the T-H, it's T-O-T-H, uh, T-O-T-H-E. And here is the T-O-E-T-H, the tooth, a projection of the mouth, a tooth, a tusk. And so, what on a tooth is an ancient poetic way of saying to, to consume? to consume this, to, uh, to consume, to digest it, to understand. You know, what on a tooth, and then on, A-N-A-G-N-O-S, on, uh, on agnos, on a lamb, and then the T, the T-H, or the T-E, and then the H, is the E, the T-E-E, -E, and then T-H, reading all this backwards again on the agnos teeth what on a tooth on agnos teeth the song on a parvum this is p-a-r the apostrophe when it stands off out here it means to grab the letters of the next word up into the next apostrophe you know it might be set in and it means to grab all those letters together and then come back and read it again and so this is a P-A-R-V-U. It's two U's, a V-U-M, the parvum in. Parvum, Latin, little trifle, childhood, infancy. You know, the parvum in, you was born with it for, since infancy. And so the direction of the apostrophe 
is telling you to grab the next letter on the way back this time. And so it's just U-M-I-N this way. And in this direction, it's a I-M-M-U. And a I am is like him. H-I-M. You know, it's, it's him, he, him. On a par from in him. And then the second M is a M-U-H, is much. In him much, hell it see. And so the hell it see wasn't actually the people. The hell it see is the act of what's going on. And it has another word for the people in here. And then the the pepistola poisate. You know, this is what they said, believe the poetry. And this believe, you know, it comes from the same thing. This pissed, it means it will stand behind you. And that's where that believe comes from. What on a tooth on a Agnes teeth? Song on a parvum. In em much hell at sea. Pipistola. The belief in the poetry. The poisette. In any. You know, I-N-A-N-Y. In any. And then you. And then B-N or V-N. In any of N. And then that, the T-H-T. And then the T reads twice due to the wave. And so it's T. And then come back, read it from this side, T-H. So it's that, the. The Leo Daikon. You know, the Leo Deacon. And you know, Leo, that's the people. And the Deacon dick on this comes from the same word as the dictate it's coming from this dyke to show or point order law judgment dyke is a law or trial and so it's more just making fun you know it's to lay a dick on and uh you know the dick the command the dictation and that's where your word deacon come from you know, the people command on or to lay a dick on. You know, there's a bunch of names for people in there, and it doesn't mean people. It means the type of people. A layman is a non-ordained male member of the church, a person without professional or specialized knowledge. So to lay a dick on, to lay a command on, it says start at the other end, so it's A, and the line says go to the other end and so it's e a e is s ash and it was the ancient word for god and even in sumerian you see it in this babylonian count of creation of man and here it's on the third line because ash non had not come forth and the semitic sun god was shum ash the name ash and just because these Big jawed scholars wrote this, don't mean it's correct. You see how they say Ra equals La equals not, and it was changed here where it was Ansikara, and the scribe it changes to answer Ra. But Ra doesn't mean not. They're getting that from this word Sarah, Sarah, which still means will be. Sarah. It doesn't mean not, it means means will be you know this line six and seven you see it you know the and land was without any seed and the well or canal had not been dug and it that's not what it means it means it means it will be and so it means at that time it was not but it doesn't mean doesn't mean raw means not it still means will be sarah will be you know sarah was the was the king's son because he will be the king Sarah and so they can't take Ra every time and replace it with not it uh, messes up the translation so their translations flawed but but it's good that they put it up here so you can compare it and see the mistakes but what it means is when you see this AE this is ash you just replace it with an ES because only the only the lay people believed in God you know up here the the pistos the ones that believed and you see it in this word for agnostic 
you know, agnostic is a person who believes that nothing is known or can be known of their existence or the nature of God or anything beyond material phenomena. A person who claims neither faith nor disbelief. You know, they, they believe that it's just too confusing and can't be known. As agnostics. You know, the, the NOST, the G-N-O-S-T, is the knowing. And he knew, and the NOST. And so the A, you know, in Latin, that's, that's the negative and didn't knowing. And you see how they didn't put this in a category of the words of the Gnostics. It's, it's in the different category with the on, Anas, the Anas, as an on negative of the Geno, all the negatives. It's not with the Gnostics. And so this ES is just an ES and it could be another way of writing is like EN being N you know ES is is and like I say they have different ways of writing words for the reason in this right here because this letter is going to be in the middle of another word and so is the cackle like a like a hen you know the cackle his cackle has and then J A and then Y S E. And this is where you are, Jesus, come from. This is the real word. J A Y S E. It means permissible, legal, lawful, just, valid, authorized. You know, and you went to church and you heard about Jesus, about all the things that were permissible. This is what you can do, this is what's proper. This is what's right. You know, coming from the old Arabic. Permissible. The word they say is Jesus through the Greek Bible. By no way means Jesus. It's I-H-S-U. In hoc signo vinces. They say that's in this sign you will conquer. It's, it's in this sign and vinces. Vincible. It's come from the same place, you know, Vinny, Vicky, Vitty. Vitty, Vicky, Vinny. We came, Vinny, we came, Vitty, we video, we saw, and Vicky, you know, we victored. So that's what I mean is victor, in this sign, victory. Its cackle has Jesse of Cleath on, on Agnes' teeth, the song Anna. And so, uh, you know, the the cackle has permissible of, L is of, and then K, and K-E is an L. It replaces the L across from the L that's in Hebrew. The same as the N-E replaces the B. Same as the key replaces the Vav. It was just a method of writing to keep it secret, but to, to add to the style of the poetry. And so the, the cackle has the permissible of Cleath, K-L-E-T-H. And Cleath, you know, with Clee, I showed in that last movie, Clee was to dress. Clee is the cloth or the dress. And he's telling you what's permissible dress, how you can dress. I think they still do that in churches today. But it's a clath, alternative form, Cleath, K-L-E-T-H. You know, to lay a docken, to, to lay the command on, his cackle has the Jesse of Cleath on Agnes' teeth, song on a, and then W-T-H-N, within. And the same thing here, he said they give it the from, and it says read it backwards, so it's a K-E-K, -E -K, and so it's actually just a L-K within lack and lay a dick they as you know the the people command they as lay a dick they as like a lay a dick they as and so they call them dicks at the same time but yeah the, the k you know they give it the ch the dick the dictations the lay a dick they as in any of them, I see them.
We tootin' gonna nag note. You know, this is Vav and then Vav, you know, in any UV of them. And EYE, you know, the mark this way says to bring the E over on this one. And the mark this way says to bring the T over on this one. Say, of them C, of, of them I, E-Y-E-S-I. Of them I see them. We tootin, T-O-T-N. Tootin is the ancient language, the Teutonic people. The Teutons are gonna, we gonna nag every little nitpick, every little thing. A note. And so this uh, of them eyes, you know, E Y E S. I E M is I am in many languages. The I am of them eyes, I am too. But it's also a miser, you know, to a mise a plan. And a uh, mise is a, a legal term. The issue in legal proceeding upon a writ of right. Uh, you know, right of way when you're transferring property of mice. But it was also uh, a term for taxes, which used to be called a gift to the state. In any to a mice, I am to the totem gonna nag a note. So I told y'all there was another word for the helots in here. And it's right here, and it changes the meaning. And they do this all throughout the Bible. But it's, uh, you know, it's wood on a tooth, on Agnes. And this word for teeth, it could be read another way here. This could be read a, a T-H or a T-E, and then an E and a T-H or a T-E. And so if you read that as a T-H-E, T-E, that's the thetes. And, and that was the lowest order of freemen in ancient Athens. That was your your slaves, and they were catching hell. You know, the thetes, the, the T-H-E-T-E-S, the thetes, the hired labor, the slaves, anagrams, teeth. And so, what on a tooth on Agnes teats, the lower class, I'm gonna parve them in. I'm gonna parve them in a much. So they don't have on Ghana, have a page on it, but it's a reciprocal of to save or to conserve. What on a tooth, on a agnos, feats on Ghana, and save a parvum in. You know, the parvum, the, the children, infant, the parvum in. In a much hell it see. The belief in the poetry. And so the, the Laodicans, you know, the Laodicons, they had the sheep, you know, believing in the poetry of the Old Testament. And so all this New Testament is written by comedians, alchemists, that understood how to read the old one, the old poetry. They understood what it was. And they were making fun of the church that was abusing the sheep. But there's just two more lines to finish this. And it should give a better idea of what some of that means up there. And what's been bleeped. So I'll leave y'all linked to that American Philosophical Society. Promoting useful knowledge. And it's just scattered all kind of different stuff in there. They talk about how they knew that computers was going to take over back in 1917. And I'll leave that link uh just right up here below this bonfire store link. Alright, I'm gonna cut this off here. Good day. <laughs>